When developers embarked on a £7 million project to create 50 luxury flats from the former Victoria Mill and Granary at Air Harbour, they little expected it would open a window into how the First World War had brought sadness home to this once thriving business premises. It was foreman Ian McLeod who came across the scroll when renovations revealed a surprise second wall. We didn't know there was a second wall there and we were quite surprised to see this behind it. So we removed it and turned it over to our canteen and we kept it there. It was to the parents of Private James Reid the scroll was presented. Either grief-stricken or touched by his workmate's generosity, the family wanted it to go back to his place of work. In the field of proud honour, our swords in our hands, our king and our country to save. While victory shines on life's last ebbing sands, oh, who would not die with the brave? Having uncovered the scroll in such a pristine condition, considering it's almost a hundred years old, uh, within the fabric of the building, it's as if Private James Reid himself had been kept within the fabric of the building over all those years. The gold leaf work on the scroll is so well preserved, it could have been created in recent times. Developers asked BBC Scotland to take it to Private Reid's former regiment, in a bid either to trace surviving family members or find it a permanent home. Alan Mackay reporting Scotland.